I've um, gone and widened the drive to make it easier to get in. So I've added about oh, three feet, four feet either side here. This is the car I was using today. So still can't drive up here safely yet because there's stumps like this that have to be removed. Uh, by hand and although it's not very high it's enough to get underneath those cars um, the Bronco's gone it's over at Rufus's place so I widened this up a little bit here too and I've gone and completely cleared out now the area between the parking area and the pad so you don't have to go round the side anymore to get to the beach side the idea is is that this will all be an approach to the house. And, okay, Here's some of the donated blocks already arrived. Now, so the idea is, is that this area here that we're looking at at the moment will be where you'll drive your car up into. So it'll be a two car garage, if you like, which will be part of the ground floor. And obviously there'll be a ramp that'll have to be made, a cement ramp that'll have to be made to allow the vehicles to come up onto there. The floor is going to have to be reclaimed because uh, resurfaced. It's sunk slightly over the years. You can see where that dark area is. Oops, that dark area here is where it puddles with water once it gets rainy. So the idea is this white area will be built into the downstairs room and uh, you'll, there'll be a door here somewhere which will essentially go from the inside of the house into the room. There'll be no doors on the outside downstairs. The only way to get to the house, into the house, is will be through the garage opening. I haven't quite worked out how I'm going to do that yet, but anyway. And so you'll come over here and there'll be a set of stairs that will go up and over upstairs into the first floor. Um, over here uh, is the old toilet that's going to be abandoned, but what I was able to do was trace a beautiful, absolutely brilliantly constructed septic tank down here. So this uh, lid of the tank was off already, so it's been open for 60 years. Um, it looks absolutely brilliant. There's nothing wrong with that. The only question is now, what is the condition of the pipe that runs from what was the toilet to the actual tank here? And how far over this tank goes? It's probably actually looking at the ground, it probably extends about 10 feet. It's a very very big septic tank actually um, so and you will notice that between the tank and the house this tree had, was born grew up lived and died and who the heck knows how far down those roots go so it might have done particularly well because it was benefiting from the sewage pipe that ran from the toilet to the septic so that's going to be a challenge and we'll have to dig down next to the foundation footer here till we find the pipe <laughs> yeah okay anyway and verify the, the 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 fact that it's not compromised but anyway it, it needs to have a clean out which is the ability to be able to if it gets clogged up to be able to get to it and they didn't do that in those days and so it has to be upgraded anyway okie dokie now what else? The pile, of course, has got exponentially larger. I'm not going to burn that until next the winter coming because it needs a good two or three weeks of dry weather and we've had rain pretty much every three or four days now. So, um, that's the pad. If we come out onto the beach... I've cleared this area of trees here to be able to make a defined uh, 
pathway, if you like, along this part of the property that defines the property to the beach, as far as I'm concerned. And then over here, I built a little sunshade thing, which is still a work in progress, to be able to enjoy the sunsets. It's uh, about five o'clock in the afternoon at the moment. So anyway, there it is. That's it for now. I'll give you another report in a couple of weeks. Love you. Bye.